Welcome back, Western Slope. It's been a minute since we chatted in the first forecast, but we have Dr. Spangler with us here in downtown Grand Junction at Market on Main from Intermountain Health, and it's hot out. It's been hot out last week. We were in the triple digits. This week, we're just in the upper 90s, but I want to talk about heat safety, hydration, all of that business. Yeah, so, you know, I think the most important things are obviously staying cool, staying out of the sun, and staying hydrated and eating. So, you know, for me, I wear sunscreen, so slip, slap, slop. <laughs> That's an, it's an Australian saying, but so, you know, you want to slip on a shirt, slap on a hat, slap on some sunscreen, drink plenty of fluids. Um, and then, you know, as far as car safety and things, make sure that you're not leaving the elderly, your pets, your kids in the car. Um, and if you do, are you around elderly or other vulnerable people, making sure that you're checking on them in the heat, making sure that the air conditioning's working and making sure that they're staying inside. You know, Market on Main is so much fun. It's one of my pl favorite places to go, but it's certainly very hot out right now. So, you know, going out later in the evenings to things like Market at Main, um, that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, and you know, on the note of leaving pets and whatnot in the car, it's hot out. The roads are hot. Make sure you're bringing water and booties, maybe if you're a little pups. But other than that, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, things like that. Can you tell us the symptoms of that and then uh, what to do if that happens? Absolutely. So, you know, things like heat stroke, heat exhaustion, heat exhaustion, excuse me, things that you're looking for are someone who's just starting to get really tired. Um, a lot of nausea is really common and sometimes people stop sweating actually. So, you know, if you start to notice those things, it's time to get them inside and get cool. And if things just aren't getting better quickly, it's time to go to the emergency department and get checked out by a doctor. Okay, yeah, good advice. And anything else that you want to share just to stay cool this summer or stuff about Intermountain Health? Um, so I think as far as staying cool, um, you know, I think a, a great place to get checked out is at your primary care doctor um, and making sure that you're up to date on all your vaccines, making sure that you're up to date on all your routine cancer screenings. Um, so maybe less about staying cool, I guess, but more about just maintaining your health and maintaining your wellness, more importantly. And make sure you're wearing SPF of 30 or above always. Yes, <laughs> very much so. I'm wearing SPF 30 right now and I wear it every day. Okay, well, awesome, Dr. Spankler. Thank you for sharing a few things with us, and uh, we'll stay cool over there at the Intermountain Health booth. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that weather, though. We're noticing that, yeah, we're talking about some storms, we're talking about this heat, but we're going to continue to see that chance for some showers as we look into tonight for some of those southern regions. Fruta might also even be looking at that, but we'll take a look ahead and notice that tomorrow, Grand Junction, some showers are possible, and we're really watching that high pressure system tracking in all of this moisture. Now around that maybe 8, 9 p.m. hour, Delta and Montrose are still looking at those chances for showers before they clear on out for the late evening time. But we're really starting to focus on the afternoon hours of tomorrow, and we'll see that in Discovery Auto Group's seven-day forecast as we're still in those upper 90s, but then we start to see some light showers roll on through on our radar tomorrow around 2, 3, 4, 5 p.m., and then we've got a sunny weekend ahead. So, yes, stay sun aware, stay heat aware this weekend still, with Montrose trailing very very close behind, but we're looking at long-term moisture. That's right, we're continuing to watch those rain chances, 30, 40, 50% chance, all the way through next Wednesday.